Centrifugal force is generated through rotation around an axis. The force generated by the rotation moves outwards. It rises or falls on the circuit depending on the speed of the rotating body. separation technology for tasks involving separating heavy substances from light substances or separating material with different densities centrifugal force acts on all particles the material which is specifically heavier is pushed out more forcefully and quickly than the rest causing it to deposit on the edge of the vessel Separation by a centrifugal force is quicker, however, if the vessel has an insert. The insert causes the specifically heavier particles to be deposited more quickly, thus helping to reduce the separation time. This leads to a higher throughput, meaning that larger quantities of liquid mixtures can be clarified or separated. Inserts used, the shorter the separation time, and the better the throughput. Similar to the vessel mentioned above, the area in the bowl is fitted with inserts. Conically arranged discs, however, can be packed more closely together with smaller spaces between. The mixture to be clarified is separated into as many layers as there are discs mounted. Taking the speed into account, a comparable, we refer to it as equivalent, clarifying area can be achieved in a bowl the size of 80 football fields. In order to understand the entire function of a separator, we simply have to follow the path of a liquid loaded with solids through the centrifuge. The mixture to be clarified enters the rotator via a centrally positioned inlet pipe. The distributor speeds up the product and guides it into the separating chamber in the disc stack. This is where the actual separation of the solids and liquids takes place. The discs are arranged according to flow mechanics. The flow properties of the solids is particularly important. Their higher density means that they reach the bottom disc surface and move from there to the solids chamber. All that remains now is to extract the separated liquid. For example, the product to be processed at a later stage, at the top end of the centrifuge. For the extraction process, the liquid rotating in the bowl at an extremely high speed is caught by a centripetal pump inside the centrifuge. The spiral-shaped channels of this centripetal pump take up the speed of the liquid and guide it to the outlet pipe. A high pressure level is created there which forces the liquid out of the bowl. The position of the rising channels depends on the proportions of the liquid phases in the mixture and plays a key role in the efficiency of the separation. The mixture, to be clarified, enters the rotator via a centrally positioned inlet pipe.
The distributor speeds up the product and guides it into the separating chamber to the disc stack. Their higher density means that they reach the bottom disc surface and move from there to the solids chamber. And a periodic opening ejection system works continuously by nozzles on the ball periphery, as shown in the example. Thank you. 